incompatible zodiac signs, but when love has already blossomed and we want to try adjusting ourselves to each other once again to preserve the love going forward, at least both of us have made an effort. It's better than letting go easily. There are good pieces of advice to help preserve the love, but it requires cooperation from both sides to maintain the love. Exploring zodiac signs that are compatible with each other can be challenging. It is believed that the characteristics of each zodiac sign are documented statistics, and the compatibility between each zodiac sign is influenced by the element associated with the sign. Examining these factors can provide insights into how well two signs may get along. Therefore, it is often said that when pairing certain zodiac signs, the outcome of love may not always meet one's expectations. Aries and Libra Aries and Libra are considered opposite signs, representing the most contrasting pair. However, this opposition is often viewed as a strong attraction between the two signs. The attraction is usually felt by Libra individuals who are often impressed by the confidence and assertiveness of Aries. In turn, Aries tends to be fascinated by the intelligence and problem-solving abilities of Libra. If these two signs come together, it may require patience from Aries to tolerate the sometimes indecisive and routine-oriented nature of Libra. Both parties need to make an effort to understand each other's behaviors and thought processes. Gemini and Scorpio Gemini and Scorpio share a common interest in intellectual pursuits and knowledge. Both signs have a fiery desire for exploration and discovery. However, what makes it challenging for Gemini and Scorpio to come together is the potential for jealousy and suspicion. It often begins with Geminis not understanding the multitude of emotions that Scorpios may harbor. When this lack of understanding is confronted, Geminis may respond with defensiveness. Upon closer examination, these two signs are hardly considered a compatible pair, despite any deep emotional connections they may share. Being on the outside, it's evident that the profound emotions of both parties can clash intensely. Taurus and Capricorn at times, Taurus and Capricorn can be a suitable match because both signs possess an independent spirit within themselves. They are articulate and expressive, sharing a penchant for straightforward communication. However, the difference lies in the fact that Taurus are generally straightforward and direct in their communication without any hidden agendas. On the other hand, Capricorns, while adept at negotiating, often conceal underlying meanings in their words. Simultaneously, Taurus are more adaptable than Capricorns and tend to express their emotions more openly. If the two were to be in a romantic relationship, it would imply that Taurus are individuals whose emotions are clear and uncomplicated, whereas Capricorns are not easily predictable emotionally. In such a scenario, navigating the relationship may pose challenges, but for some couples, making the seemingly impossible work is a possibility. Leo and Sagittarius Both Leo and Sagittarius know what it takes to make an impression. Individuals born under the Sagittarius sign often showcase impressive abilities or create surprising and unexpected surprises to leave an impact. This trait is what attracts Leo, a sign that naturally seeks to be the center of attention and desires recognition. However, appearances can be deceiving. When Leo seeks a companion to share thoughts or needs encouragement, Sagittarius may not be there and they may not make an effort to make Leo feel better. Despite this, both signs share the strengths of courage and a love for fun. It should not be surprising that individuals of both Leo and Sagittarius can have more than one romantic partner. Cancer and Pisces Both Cancer and Pisces are creative thinkers and sensitive individuals. At times, Cancers tend to avoid tasks that make them uncomfortable, while Pisces may not understand the approach of Cancers. Often, Cancers are cautious about managing situations that may impact their relationships, while Pisces tends to be indifferent and does things according to their own emotions. While they can work well together, being friends might be more beneficial for both than being romantic partners. This is because both individuals may not be considerate of each other's feelings, leading to long-term strain on the relationship. Their differences with one being self-centered and the other avoiding confrontation can result in a lack of communication. Consequently, 
unresolved issues pile up, creating a situation where both parties may eventually have to make a choice. Couples break up for a variety of reasons, and the dynamics of each relationship are unique. However, some common factors contribute to the breakdown of relationships. It's important to note that these factors often interact and influence each other. Here are some reasons why couples may break up. Communication issues. Lack of effective communication is a significant contributor to relationship problems. Misunderstandings, unexpressed feelings, and poor communication skills can lead to resentment and distance between partners. Trust issues. Trust is the foundation of a healthy relationship. When trust is broken through lies, betrayal, or deceit, it can be challenging to rebuild. Trust issues can erode the connection between partners and ultimately lead to a breakup. Compatibility issues. Couples may realize over time that they are not compatible in terms of values, goals, interests, or lifestyle. Differences in long-term plans or fundamental beliefs can strain a relationship. Infidelity. Cheating is a significant breach of trust and can be emotionally devastating for the betrayed partner. Infidelity often leads to broken relationships due to the erosion of trust and the emotional pain it causes. Unresolved conflicts. Every relationship has conflicts, but when conflicts are left unresolved or handled poorly, they can accumulate and create persistent tension. Chronic conflict without resolution can lead to dissatisfaction and a sense of hopelessness. Changes in priorities. Individuals grow and change over time. Sometimes, partners may develop different priorities, goals, or interests that lead them in separate directions, causing the relationship to suffer. Lack of intimacy. Emotional and physical intimacy is crucial for maintaining a strong connection. A lack of emotional connection, sexual dissatisfaction, or mismatched levels of intimacy can contribute to relationship dissatisfaction. External stressors. External factors such as financial problems, work-related stress, or family issues can put strain on a relationship. If couples fail to manage these stressors together, they may find it difficult to cope and may decide to separate. Abuse. Emotional, verbal, physical, or any form of abuse is a serious reason for ending a relationship. Abuse creates an unhealthy and unsafe environment and is a clear sign that the relationship needs to end for the well-being of both partners. Loss of emotional connection. Over time, couples may experience a loss of the emotional connection that initially brought them together. If partners feel emotionally disconnected or detached, it can be challenging to sustain the relationship. Unmet expectations. Unmet expectations can lead to disappointment and frustration. If partners have different expectations about the relationship, such as roles, responsibilities, or level of commitment, it can strain the connection. Dealing with the realization that you and your lover can't be together can be a challenging and emotional process. Here are some suggestions on how to adapt or cope with such a situation. Acceptance. Acknowledge the reality of the situation and accept that the relationship may not be feasible. Understand that acceptance is the first step towards healing. Allow yourself to grieve. It's okay to feel sad, disappointed, or even angry. Allow yourself to grieve the loss of the relationship and the future you had envisioned. Give yourself the time and space to process your emotions. Seek support. Reach out to friends, family, or a therapist who can provide emotional support. Talking about your feelings with someone you trust can be therapeutic and help you gain perspective. Establish boundaries. If staying in contact with your ex-partner is too painful, consider establishing boundaries or taking a break from communication. This can help both of you create emotional distance and move forward. Focus on self-care. Take care of your physical and emotional well-being. Engage in activities that bring you joy, practice self-compassion, and prioritize self-care. This can include exercise, hobbies, or spending time with loved ones. Reflect and learn. Reflect on the relationship and the reasons it couldn't work out. Use this time for self-discovery and personal growth. Understand the lessons you can take away from the experience. Set new goals. Redirect your energy towards setting new personal and professional goals. Channeling your focus into areas of personal development can help you build a sense of purpose and achievement. Create distance. If possible, 
Create physical and emotional distance from your ex-partner. This could involve unfollowing them on social media, avoiding places you used to go together, and finding new routines. Embrace change. Recognize that change is a natural part of life. Embrace the opportunity for growth and transformation that comes with navigating the end of a relationship. Look to the future. Focus on building a positive vision for your future. Consider the possibilities that lie ahead and the potential for new, fulfilling relationships. Remember that healing is a gradual process and it's essential to be patient with yourself. If the emotional burden becomes overwhelming, seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor can provide additional support and guidance. Warning, astrological predictions may not be accurate for everyone. Please view them for entertainment purposes only. Thank you very much.